everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you my newly completed album, Voyage Beneath the Sea from Graphic 45. Um, this is the largest album I've done to date, and it was at um, a request of a viewer, so thank you for uh, giving me some ideas. Um, one of the um, creative constraints that I put into this album was I wanted to make sure that there was room for 8x10 photographs. And um, I've done that, and so I'll talk about that as I'm going through. Um, so let me give you the overall di dimensions. So this is 11 and a quarter by 9 and a quarter by 2 and a half. It has four pocket pages, so it is a very large scale. The pocket pages themselves are 11 by 9, 11 by 9. Okay, so here we are in the beginning. So on the inside of um, both the front and back cover, I have this nice large pocket where I've stashed some of the ephemera um, that I have not used in the album uh, to be used later on as you're decorating the album. Okay, right here, um, I've got two flaps, a left and a right flap. And it's kind of large, so I'm going to be scooting it back and forth. And then inside um, are two large tags. Okay, and then it opens one more time. And then here's where I have it, a large 8x10 photo mat. So you can see there's, and you could also put a large photograph in here. You can put one on both sides. So these are very large photo mats. And you've got room for a more traditional 6x4 photos. On the flaps. I've opted not to use inserts and I'll tell you why. I've got 65 pound cardstock and when I cut an insert out and I went to place it in it's very hard to push it down the length because this is so long of this page without it wanting to bend so you'd need to use a very heavy weight cardstock or a minimum of two layers of 65 pound and then also decorate it. Now I didn't have enough paper that I could cover the inserts. That's the other reason why I opted not to do it. But there is definitely enough uh, designer paper to put a decorative strip on the front and back if you decide to do inserts. But again, I decided not to. This is page two. It's a very simple double pocket page. I kept the side simple because the um, page one has a lot of magnets on it and I wanted to build a page that didn't require any magnets. This is four and a half inches across, so you could easily put a four by six photo here. I'm using the chipboard as a little tab to keep it closed. And I, I've got enough uh, paper to cover the inside of this. I did not do it when I originally designed it because I wasn't sure if I was going to. And at this point, I'm so far behind getting something out, I just wanted to go ahead and post what I have. I'm likely going to go back and cover that. So there's two of those, and again, I use this little piece of chipboard as a tab to hold it all closed. Okay, pretty happy with that. And then here, I did a waterfall, which is something I don't do very often. So I put a waterfall feature in. I kept this deliberately simple, so you could mount a photo here. And then um, I just put a decorative strip on the edge of each one of the waterfall features. Um, it's hard to tell in this size book, but this is a 5x7 photo mat. So you could easily put a 4x6 and still have a border around it, or you can also do a waterfall of 5x7 photos. Another large photo mat that you can put an 8x10 photo on. There we go. And page 4 and 5. So we've got these pockets. I use Graphic 45 regular tags, and um, I attach these charms. If you buy the DCEs from us, we'll send you some coordinating charms. Um, we don't always have exactly what I used in the project, but we will send something that will work for you. And then this is a nice flap. And then this has a nice eight by 10 photo mat again in this large deep pocket. So this album, so you can either put a collage on here or a, or a large photo, has a ton of space for these large photos. Okay, and then here we have another waterfall page. And again, these are five by seven. Actually, it was supposed to be like that. It was flipped over. Okay, 
And again, at the end, I'll show you what paper is left. Nice large photo mat. Okay, we've got these simple double pocket page. And I'm pretty happy with the way these turned out. I thought it was pretty cute. And again, it's just the same as the, the first one. There we go. Here's our last page. Two matching tags. Opens again, and then a nice large photo mat here. There we go. And then over here, we've got another deep pocket where I've stashed some of the leftover ephemeras that can be used throughout the album once you decide where you're gonna put your photos. I did a simple little collage back here with stickers. This is from the Graphic 45 clock die, which I thought was really pretty. So I thought that just, it's such a large space. I wanted to put something there. And I put a simple piece of chipboard here on the back. And the front, um, this is from the collection. This is uh, from the cut aparts, and then I've got two pieces of uh, filigree here on the corners. Okay, with that, I'm going to share with you. I still got some stash from cut aparts and stickers there. And I actually have quite a bit of the chipboard left, but I typically don't add my chipboard until the end. So let me show you what I've got left. So these are the um, sort of intact pages that I have left two, four, six, seven pieces. So I have enough to do the flip side of um, all of the 8x10 um, inserts and uh, probably enough left over to, um, to dress the rest of the inside of these. So again, I've just, like I said, I was running out of time. I need to get off onto the next project. So... Um, I went ahead and just showed you what I have done so far. So these are uh, 9 by 11 or larger. And like I said, I've, have, I've got enough to probably do the back of four of these. And then uh, probably enough to do the, the additional inside of the, the bifold. Okay. In addition to that, I've got lots of uh, 3 by 12s which are great for cards um, or if you want to do some color blocking. Beyond that, the pieces are, are much smaller, and I'll pull some of those in, much, much smaller strips. So you can definitely use them um, as decorative accents or contrast pieces, but you can't really cover a very large surface. So I wanted to share with you what was left over. I probably will go back and cover the backside just because I have the paper, and it's unlikely that I'll use it for anything else. So I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing, and you'll be notified every time we have new content. And if you can't shop with us because you're not in the United States, one of the ways you can help us is by subscribing, liking, and sharing our videos with other people that you know enjoy paper crafting. Thanks again. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create.